So I'm working with this amazing truck model here, but I've got a problem. I'd like to add text on the tires. Now normally, if I add text on the tires, it's just going to be in a straight line. But I need curvy text because, of course, tires use curvy text. But now, with this latest version, I'm able to select an arc. We'll go to horizontal. And then I can say sketch text. And as we need to handle curves superbly, I'll select along path, path figures, and the arc that I've just sketched. Now I have several options here. I can start at a percentage that's not at 0%, so I can move this down my path as I wish. I also can adjust the spacing between my letters to find something that seems natural. And I can uh, change my offset so I can make this, uh, say, a center line down my letters. I think that in a lot of cases, the center line option is an especially good one for letter spacing. I can reverse, so if I'm making a stamp or a press or something like that, I can also reflect over the path, which I'll have to change my offset so you can really see what that looks like. Uh, so we've got some great options to be able to get our letters just how we want them. Uh, I'll go ahead and apply that. And of course, I'll make sure that my path is a reference figure. And I can add the letters exactly how I'd like. Perhaps I want to put a logo on this door of some kind. I have more options than just an arc to work with. So I'll activate a sketch on this door. And maybe I'll make a very curvy spline. I'll add my sketch text, but maybe first I'll convert this to a reference figure. And then I can select my path. I can adjust the size of my letters as well as the spacing. And I can change my offset, which I think going through the middle really makes for consistent lettering when you have a spline type profile. Once I'm satisfied, I can close and extrude. Now it's not just on flat faces that this can work. As you can see, there's some interesting curvature along this face, and we can even use letters on that. I'll create an arc to define my path. And then I'll select a long path. There we go. I can choose to reflect over my path to get those letters to line up correctly. And I'll change my letter size a little bit. I'll adjust my offset. That's just about how I want it. But I don't have to do only extrudes. Let's use a wrap. Just like this is our face. And there we have a wrap on a non-flat surface. So hopefully this will be a useful and fun tool to move forward with. We can't wait to see how you use it, and thank you for watching.